guess what i'm back and i'm ready to give y'all what y'all want okay i'm ready to give y'all what y'all want it's renewal time my ccma expires in march and nha is already sending me little things like oh renew your certification renew your certification and i'm just like dang can i get a little space it's december like that's still three months away but i see what they're trying to do they want you to go ahead and renew it so you can get out the way so you don't forget and i get that nha i understand that i appreciate you i appreciate you but i'm not gonna renew until at least probably february at least probably february just because i'm assuming your time will start again from the day that you renew and if my certification doesn't expire until march but i renew in december then it's gonna in theory it's gonna expire before it actually would have had i waited to renew it so i think february is gonna be the end of february is when i'm gonna renew it just to be safe but nha i see you boo i see you so let me go ahead and tell you guys what the renewal process is like do you have to take a test what do you have to do do you have to take more classes what do you have to do that's what we're gonna talk about today so nha actually has two different renewal options so they have a renewal and then they have a recertification renewal can happen anytime before your certification expires so if your certification expires in june anytime before june is when you are still eligible to renew um, after June so let's say you got your certification on June 15th anytime after June 15th it then becomes a recertification so that's a different thing in order to renew all you have to do is take 10 continuing education credits so you don't have to retest you don't have to study and do all that over again we good y'all we took the test the first time we passed it you know NHA they know we know what we doing at this point we work in the workforce so they know all we have to do is continue our education. So they have 10 continuing education credits that they want you to do. And then after that, you'll be able to renew your certification. Now, if you let your certification expire, meaning if my certification expires on, I think mine ex actually expires on March 15th. So if I wait until March 16th and then I try to go, okay, I'm ready to renew on March 16th, they're gonna be like, mm -mm, hold on. Cause now you have to recertify. And essentially recertifying means you'll have to take more classes. You don't have to take the whole like four hour exam over again, even if you have to recertify, but you will be subject to more classes than you would have been had you just renewed. I don't think the actual classes cost any money. Like I don't think individually each class costs money, but there is a two year renewal certification fee that you will have to pay at the end. Other fees obviously can apply. And I'm under the impression that if you do let your certification expire and then you go for the recertification, then it probably will cost more than it would have had you just renewed. So. If your certification is about to expire, make sure that you set that alarm, you put it in your schedule, make sure that you are renewing instead of recertifying. Just because we don't want the extra hassle of having to take more classes and pay more money. There's no point in us doing that. So just go ahead and after you watch this video, set your little alarm, put it on your calendar, um, you know, and figure out whenever you are going to renew. You don't need to have to be putting in more effort than we have to. Go ahead and renew so you can just keep on about your merry way and keep on being a medical assistant. Okay. That's really all it is to it. It's really that simple. I'm going to link some really detailed instructions given to us by NHA in my description box below so that you all can have access to it. It'll tell you exactly what to do when you get on the website, what to click on. It'll give you everything, all the step by steps. So look on that link if you need help as far as navigating the website. Other than that, that's all I have for this video. So make sure you hit that like button comment down below if you are renewing soon or if you just have something to say and look around on my channel if you like what you see then go ahead and subscribe okay okay xoxo and i in the shade